Hey there you 1A and 1B, today's science experiment is called stinky sandwiches. We're going to be looking at pieces of bread and what happens to them if we leave them out with germs on them. First thing you're going to need is to go into the fridge and grab your loaf of bread. We're also going to need some sandwich bags, big enough that they can hold a piece of bread. We're also going to need a permanent marker or pen or some sort of sticky label if you have one so that we can tell each piece of bread apart. We're going to wash our hands nice and clean before we start our experiment so we're starting from beautiful and clean. You're going to need three pieces of bread, just three. Put them out on the table in front of you and put the rest of the bread back in the fridge. You're also going to need to lay out your three Ziploc bags. So I've got three pieces of bread and three Ziploc bags all lined up nice and neatly. The first thing I'm going to do is put one piece of bread without touching it into a Ziploc bag. This is going to be our control piece of bread and we're not touching it so that we can compare it to the ones that have been touched. We're going to label it control so we know which one it is. We can label the other bags while we're at it as well. Label them clean hands and then dirty hands. We're going to wash our hands again just so that we've got very, very clean hands for our clean hands piece of bread. Touch the bread all over. Poke it, prod it, hold it. Put your clean hands all over this piece of bread. And we're now gonna tuck that safely away into our clean hands Ziploc bag. Using your still clean hands, put the piece of bread into the bag and zip it up nice and tight. Now our hands are a little bit too clean for this activity, so what are we gonna do? Make them dirty. Put your hands all over anything that you think has germs all over it. We've got dog fur, we've got door handles, we've got the floor. You can put your hands in the dirt outside if you want. Make them absolutely filthy. Make your hands covered in germs. Even pat the dog. We can also rub them on the bottom of our shoes because our shoes have a lot of germs on the bottom of them. Now that our hands are lovely and dirty, we're going to put them all over our next piece of bread. Touch the piece of bread all over with your dirty hands. And then our last piece of bread is going to go into its Ziploc bag, labelled Dirty Hands. Pop it in the bag and zip it up nice and tight. Don't forget to wash your hands after touching all those germs. Now that we've got our three pieces of bread, control, clean hands and dirty hands, we're going to put them somewhere safe, put them somewhere out in the open, not back in the fridge, just out on a counter somewhere and we're going to leave them for a few weeks and then we're going to see what happens to them. 